Hey everyone, let's take a look at my Canvas course. It's got a bunch of things in here, including my YouTube page for the students, my Quaver, which is for all students in our school, and some of the extra projects that I've got plugged inside. So let's go to my Canvas course and we'll take a look. So here are my courses. All of the grades have a music area course. You should have this linked to your Canvas. When we click in, we will see on the fifth grade, our YouTube link, this goes to my Rama Road YouTube channel, which has some tutorials about Canvas for the students. It's got some side activities. It's got some other videos that I would love the students to watch. It's got some of my old stuff. So very helpful YouTube channel from me for them. Here we can see my new yellow circle button. This is for a school-wide project. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of videos that we are submitting, and I've already got a bunch of them submitted from the students. As time goes on, the link that this button will lead to will change. It will go to a different assignment that they will have access to. So for now, the first one that we're doing is a dance video with some music that they can dance along to, and that they can, if we go into student view, they can submit their own recording of themselves doing a video and I'm gonna compile it all and we're gonna send it to that student YouTube channel and only the people who can view the link through the Canvas course will be able to view it. So it'll be great when it's all done and only the students will have access to it or you will have access to it if you wanna show it to the class. Um, so that's one of the projects that we are doing in here. And eventually I'm gonna form that into hopefully a virtual choir or some larger form of music making. But that is down the road and I'm experimenting with it for now. Here we have our Quaver button. We also have the class code and a help me video that you or your students can watch. Um, it has all of the instructions to get into Quaver. The part that students have the most trouble with with signing into Quaver is if they do not have their Google login information. So if they do not have their email, their student email, then they're not gonna be able to get into this. That is something I cannot help with. That is something that you have access to. And if they need help, I'm sending them to you. Here we can see my teacher dashboard. I do a lot of stuff here. You don't have to worry about any of this. Let's go look at what the student view looks like. So here we can see what the students will see. Uh, they have access to their assignments, to different interactives, to different music creatives, to Quaver Street, which they love to use, and to Quaver Books, which is great for reading and things. They can also dress up their avatar. They can take one of the quizzes, which we sometimes use in class, and we can enter a code, which has a variety of different features. Let's look at the Assignments tab. So for example, the fifth grade assignments can all be found here from the very beginning of the year up until now. Um, it has all of their due dates, all of the assignments. They can go into any of the ones that they have not completed and perform them. When they hit that launch button, it takes them into the assignment and they can go through the slides and complete the information that they have. There are tons of different things within these assignments and a lot of them have a grade or two in at least every single assignment, which then comes to me and I can see their grades in my grade book. My fourth and fifth graders have some other stuff as well. They have access to a music coding activity, which I introduced at the beginning of the year. A few students have decided to go through and complete some of these uh, projects, which is awesome. And this is all about music making uh, and coding, with, like computer coding, all kind of mixed together through Scratch, which is awesome. So if you would like to get into coding, there's some information here and you can go check that out as well. You can click on the picture and you can sign in. If you've never used CS First, I highly recommend if you're interested in using the technology, go do it. Now keep in mind, a lot of what's on my Canvas page isn't gonna change. It's all the stuff that lead to it. The purpose of my Canvas course is to keep it simple so that every time they go to it, it's like, oh, I know exactly where to go. The simpler it is, the easier it is for me and for the students from all grades, K through five. That's my canvas. If you have any questions, let me know.